Good to go. Hello. So, hi everyone and welcome. My name is Kistli. Sorry. Uh, I am the CTO and co-founder of Monarium. And I am so excited to be here with you because I have something to announce to you. But before we go into that, let me give you a little background on who I am. So, I am a mathematician by training and I've been programming for most of my life. And prior to founding Monarium, I uh, worked as a software developer, a bonds trader, and then I founded, founded my first company, a successful startup in the cloud consulting business. So, now that I've introduced myself, let me take you back in time. Do you remember this? This was the sound of my connection to the outside world. And living on an island in the middle of the North Atlantic with roughly 300,000 people, this was a big deal. And the sound you heard was digital signal being modulated into sound waves in order for it to be carried over analog landlines. And while the dial-up modem solved the onboarding problem of the internet, it was a kind of a clunky user experience when you compare it with today's digital-only solutions that reside in your phones that are constantly connected. So when I countered Bitcoin for the first time in 2013 and later Ethereum, I saw the same kind of onboarding problem. It was like going back to the future. This time around, the problem wasn't necessarily to onboard the users. They were already connected to the internet. It was more about connecting the money from my bank account so that I could get it on chain to pay for the services that are used. And it's always felt broken to me that I had to send my ex money from the bank account and to the exchange. And that exchange wouldn't necessarily support my euro. So I'd have to convert it into dollars. And depending on how long, uh, depending on the jurisdiction, it could take up to three days to arrive. And I would pay something like 5%. Then a few years ago, me and my team, we started to dream up another kind of solution. And we started to ask ourselves, what if I could simply send my money directly from my bank account and into the wallet. Now, this was a crazy idea, and we even took it further. And we said, what if my wallet was my bank account? That's pretty cool, right? So we were getting really excited about this, and we kind of went through the motion. We went to the blackboard to draw out the user experience of what that might feel like. And we said something like, okay, I would, I would have my wallet and I could connect it to a, an app. And I would see my euro balance, it would be zero. And then I could some way associate an IBAN to it, the international bank account number. And this IPAN ending in 7672 would allow me to receive euros into it. And then we imagined that we could somehow go into our online bank, and this could be Revolut or some cool neo bank, but this could also be BNP, BNP Paribas. And I would authenticate, hang on, could I authenticate? And I would authenticate to the service and I would see my euros in the bank account. So casually, I would initiate a payment by hitting the send button and I would find the equivalent IPAN, that the one that's associated to my wallet. And I would, let's say, have five euros sent over and I would send a greeting. Let's do something like this. 
and I would send it away. And then some way, that payment would end up in my wallet. And by this time, we were all really excited because we knew, we had seen all of you out there building your products and your protocols, and everyone was having the same problem. And when you think about it, when you have money in its native form, on-chain, who needs another on-ramp? It's already there. And today, there is a way. Did you see that? I had the money in my bank account, and then a few seconds later, it's in my wallet. Let's, let's let that sink in for a while. So this would now be available in my wallet. This will update here. In my wallet to participate in DeFi or whatever project that you have. You can send, you can see the center. This is my IBAN at Revolut. And here's the greeting that I sent. Here's a link to the on-chain transaction and the value that was transmitted. And just to make sure, it should, it should be reflected here in a little while. So because this is now in my wallet and the IBAN is in my name, going into the other direction is equally as easy. So I type in whatever amount, I type in the IBAN, I select my friend, and initiate the payment. And when the payment lands in that bank account, they will see me as the sender, not Monarium or anyone else, because it's in my name. Now, back to the story. So the Monarium IBAN is the bridge between the banking system and blockchains. And when it's in its native form on chain, you can really start to ask yourselves, where does the money live? And do you really need another bank account? Because when it's in your name, you can transact both with your wallet on chain and send it away. Now, let me address the elephant in the room. With, the, with UST, UST imploding, and the looming risk of a bank run on many of the other stablecoin issuers, it's easy to come to the conclusion that money on chain just isn't ready. So coming from Iceland and being mindful of the crash in 2008, where the whole financial system collapsed, we went above and beyond to bring the most secure digital form of money on chain. We are the first, and as we know, still the only e-money issuer to be authorized to issue money on chain. And if you're not familiar with e-money, don't worry. It's the same license that the likes of Revolut and PayPal have used in Europe for over 20 years. So we are bringing that robust legal framework on chain. We are not your average bank. We are a blockchain first company. And we, everything we do has the blockchain at its root. We were all early in crypto and I even participated in the Ethereum presale. So we came this weird financial institution in order to bridge the gap between the banking system and money on chain. And we stand and fall with the success of Ethereum and others. Recently, we went multi-chain when we deployed on Polygon. And we were kind of taken by surprise that how hard it is actually to get native Matic. Because the one you get on the centralist exchanges is wrapped. And since then, a pool has been uh, deployed on Polygon. So this is probably the easiest and cheapest way to bridge your money using the IBAN and to get the native Matic. And we'll be deploying to rollups and other layer ones in the near future. 
lately, we've been reaching out to a number of products and projects, and they've been thrilled to finally be able to access the real Euro on-chain. Request Network is a software suite for Web3 businesses. One of their products allows their users to create invoices and get them settled on-chain. By embedding the Monarium IBAN, they extend the reach of the market they can reach because now uh, some of the payers can live off-chain and pay into the IBAN, which automatically mints the euro, triggering the settlement logic. Superfluid is mastering streaming payments. And to me, it's obvious that this, is being, this will be the default way we pay for recurring payments. Now, after having embedded the UE, users can receive their salary into their wallet second by second in real time. Jarvis are doing amazing things by lowering the barrier to the foreign exchange market. They recently deployed a pool to Polygon, uh, sorry, to uh, Curve, which allows their users to bridge directly into their service and ac to access the Forex market. And with that, today, we are announcing that we are open for business for all Europeans, for all of you out there. So we would love for you guys to be among the first users to sign up because you are at the forefront of building the Web3 economy. So take this, test it, and help us make Europe the leader in DeFi. Thank you. <laughs> now, I'll be around for the rest of the week. We are sponsoring the hackathon, so if anyone here is you know, attending, We'll be there. If you want to embed this into your product, it would be fantastic. So connect with us here or reach me. I'm in the, this, this shirt. Uh, and if there are any questions, I believe we have a few minutes. Yeah, so I know you're the CTO, and this is, might be a quite legal question, yeah. um, but do you have any confirmation from the regulator of Iceland on uh, the equivalency between the, your e-tokens in your wallet and the legal currency, like uh, actual euros in a bank account, because it's a bit different with uh, electronic money? So is it exactly the same thing when we have that in our wallet or having like cash yeah. So to, to answer that, so this is, this is money on chain. So we are authorized to issue the digital equivalent of cash. This is the same license that has been existing for 20 years. And like I mentioned, you know, PayPal and everyone else uses this. So if you, if you uh, trust them, you should trust this. And the thing is about the safeguarding. So we are not like a bank. We cannot lend out this money like a bank would. So the only thing we can do is actually to safeguard it, and it's in a segregated account. So even if we go bust, the money is still safe. It's in your name. So, and this is recognized as legal tender. You can pay your taxes with it. Yeah. I mean, just process-wise, does it mean basically I would send the money to you and you keep it and you mint like a euro or like how do you... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we are a fiat-backed stablecoin issuer, which means that, you know, we hold reserves 100%. And actually, we are regulated, so it's redeemable on demand by law. And uh, yeah, so it, you have full guarantee and we have to provide even 2% on top of the 100% that we safeguard in order to meet any inconsistencies in the, in the operations. But the most important thing is that this money is segregated from everything else, so it becomes accessible 
should anything happen to us. So the fees, so we are taking out two middlemen, we're taking out both the bank and the central ex exchange to connect you directly into DeFi. So we are lowering the fees from up to 5% down to 0.25%, so 25 basis points. Maybe you can take questions outside as we are running out of time. We're running out of time, yeah. but thank you everyone, thank you. Okay.